Hi there folks, welcome to Panda Life Gaming, I'm your host Cody, and today we are getting back into Resident Evil Village Shadows of Rose. This will almost certainly be the final uh, episode, I, I think. I, I say almost certainly, I have no fucking clue. Um, but yeah, we found out that, like, I guess Evelyn is behind at least some of the shit that's going on here. Uh, in Munamicy world. Again, I don't really understand if this is happening in the real world or not. I don't think it is, but... Mm. Uh, Ethan has been helping us. Dad has been helping us this whole time. At least I'm pretty sure. Which surprises me not at all. I did forget we were calling him Michael. Okay. We're... We're good. We're golden. Let's do it. Going into the village, I assume. Oh. Hey. What's all this doing out here? That's a good question. Mute in my seat world is uh not doing so hot. No, oh, we're getting we're we're getting loaded up for a boss battle. I can feel it. Is it Evelyn? Or is it uh well it's a whole okay. cave? Where the hell am I? What is who, this place? Who designed this this DLC from what Soft? I can sense something from over there. Th that something? What? Oh, am I going this way? I am going this way. Um, let's see what we can craft. So we got uh. This. Uh, what's going on over here? Is that just extra storage? Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Um, I'm just trying to trying to get things in order, you know. You know. You know. Yeah. So we have three health. That's pretty good. We've got uh, a bunch, so that's cool. Glad I say I think I saved that. Glad I saved that. Um, we got a decent amount of ammo. We could use more. We're not gonna get more, so hmm. that's unfortunate. Let's get another. Yeah, and then we'll save the last one, and then maybe one more of these. There we go. I I get the feeling this is like this is the end. This is the last little Hey me. Stop dog. What? Okay. Oh, oh hey, we got another bunch. Does that stack? It does. Yay. Neat. No, no, we got a thing going. We got a thing going. Come on. Oh. They're all just like in the castle. The fuck was that about? Okay. Yeah, oh, hit me again. Oh, jeez. Wait. Oh, oh, it's that. Oh. I'm like, what's going? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm even stronger than before. Yeah, you are. Wait, are they getting back? Oh, they're they're getting back up. No, no, you stay down. I thought they were dead. Which I was pretty happy about, honestly. That's okay. That's alrighty. I wonder if the, uh, the end of this game is gonna be like, Rose learns to live with her powers. Uh, 
Uh, we got two. Ayo, dog. Seems to take fewer bullets than it used to. Uh, hey, me. It, what are we... It would be useful if I didn't miss. Hey. Burn through a lot of my little ammo to do this, but... It do be what it do be. Sure. Try to make sure I'm loaded up. Don't want it. Alright, alright, alright. Let's group up now. Come on. Oh, I got him. I also used, wasted one of my, uh, things on it. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, right, because I don't kill you when I do that, right? I knew that. It doesn't actually seem to matter where I hit it. I don't think headshots do at least a significant amount more damage. Open for too much. I need to find that crystal. Why, dude? Fucking get over it. Get out of here. You're gonna die. More. You're gonna die more. I want like a deep dive into what the fuck's going on in this game. Megamyce absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. Okay. Seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Okay. Only those who are attuned to the Megamyce uh, in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm this aligns with my understanding of the megamyce as revealed to me in its visions before my death yes my death my physical body is gone absorbed into the megamyce yet i do not despair for this fate has granted me uh fascinating insights all those years i strived i've continued to strive they are not for nothing the memories the consciousness understanding and knowledge i accumulated in life transferred here to the Megamyce, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use, its effect, uh, use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement. So many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from this, amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into into which to hold her and of course i know the perfect vessel the only real candidate in all my years of searching rosemary winters uh perhaps what i need is the right vessel in which to hold her your daughter i'm assuming this is mother miranda right because she died and now she's here presumably uh, and she's looking for a vessel, and I'm the vessel she wants. 
So, okay, none of this is actually happening IRL. I intend, intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that uh, some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I've succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles a real thing, yes, but it has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove uh, suitable as a vessel. Maybe a vessel for her? I don't know. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. Uh, the fact that real, the fact that Rose herself is still alive, uh, some other actor within this realm, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely uh, to be the sole reason, nor any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm where she... Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations, further experiments uh, with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, uh, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is uh, just the one to perform this stress test. The masked duke. So it's not real duke, right? They couldn't have been So it's I see. It's it's like something I can can I pull out of that at any time? I, I shouldn't have skipped past that. There's another book here. Been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousness stored within the Megamyce. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamyce, mixed with other consciousnesses, con consciousnesses and memories, extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus uh, diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousnesses to create an entity. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, respooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birth new in this realm. A success, to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he, uh, he was possessed of a deeply warred psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Conclusion, while manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the, cre the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Ah, so she created that duke uh, who looks like the duke that she knew, but uh, had a deeply warped psyche and was missing, missing a portion, portion of his face, hence the mask. No, it's Mother Miranda. It's without question Mother Miranda. So I don't... I don't even need healing right now. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, well, at least that stacks. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. I guess I could... I can't even make a pipe bomb. But I don't want to get rid of the pipe bomb in lieu of, like... 16 more handgun bullets. Pipe bomb's useful. Handgun bullets are expendable. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought that I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close. I was so close. Almost there. Michael. Your dad's name isn't Michael. You know this. You know your dad's name is Ethan, right? Or do you legitimately not know your own father's name? Don't see how that's possible. I really don't. It's through here. Black gold, which lives in us and which we live, create for us a new world as benefits your will. 
Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls unto, uh, upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to uh, preserve. Once again, deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. So Miranda's whole shtick was she was trying to bring her daughter back, right? And Rose was how she was going to do that. Hmm. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. Um... Seems like a bad idea to just grab it and, and get rid of your powers before this big boss battle. Ah, Rose, if you never played a video game. It doesn't feel that different. Let's be real. <laughs> hey, Miranda. What's <laughs> up? Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? That was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! I'm gonna put a lot of bullets in you. Just like Dad. Uh, Rose, run! <sighs> Ethan, you pest! Go! <sighs> Manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Rose, hurry! You can't escape! Not from me! Alright, speed's gonna be key here. really want to use the shotgun bullets if I can help it. Let's go, Dad. Why are we covering your face? I'm just gonna do this under this giant boulder. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. What do you mean a way out? Rose! Voice acting's gotten a little better. You can't escape. Ethan, persistence is always. Dad. Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But 
That's Rose, very unlikely. I don't want to leave you. <laughs> Ethan, you had a shotgun. I love you, but I need to know you're safe. So please, just keep it, you insolent pest. I got this. Get out of here. <laughs> Kinda hoping. How intent you were on my throwing them away? I think they just might. There's nothing. Okay, like There's no shoes. Okay, what am I supposed to do to like block this? Yeah, but we both got the goop juice. Why do you God, this is clunky. Not that it was super smooth in the base game, but... <laughs> ah. Can I get one shot off? Jeez. I'm trying. I really am. Would you move around too much? Here I come. God damn it. This is This is horseshit. No, but there really. There we go. This will also That took forever, dog. Why suffer me? While she's doing this, to resurrect No matter how many pieces we get, no matter how hard to reach, that is why it must be. You are the only one who can bring her back. Don't care. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will. I'm good. You are but a vessel. Do 
Do you still not see? There is no happy end. Uh, let's use one of these. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. Nice burn, Rose. Hey, Dad. How you doing? You doing our ow? Your suffering will never end. Sit, sit, what? What's the? What's the strat here? Goop juice. You just won't give up. You really are. Oh shit. Makes you the perfect best. How is this boss fight even more frustrating than the first time I had to fight you? Let's see this You bitch. Why do you? There's just no way to dodge that. Bitch. The rose over here. Dad. Use this. Take her down. Power, family, and love. Oh, I will. Return and yield your strength to me. I can't. I can't do anything right now. I can't do a fucking thing right now. I literally can't do anything. None of the buttons do a fucking thing. I pressed every button. Do you think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my Are domain? you fucking kidding me? Return and yield your strength to me! There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I am pressing... I pressed all the buttons. So I guess there was something I could do. Okay, is she like I actually see. dead this time? Oh, oh my, my god, god, we can see his face. You're, you're so grown up now. Okay, we saw his face for like a half second. Even I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry, I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face.
I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. I'm so very proud of you. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Dad. And our time within the bullshit realm is over. Oh, I was just chilling in a chair the whole time. I'm back. How'd I get into this building, by the way? I'm back. We need to talk to Chris about the fact that I'm seeing shit. Oh, and I pulled something out of that reality. Or did I have the ring? Oh. Is the Mega Micey dead? There's a lot of questions here. Also, that boss battle was super frustrating. Oh. And this is the end. <laughs> Of the main game. Boy will be able to touch the moon. Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon. I like this. This actually lines up a little better than my assumption that this bit was prior hey, to what we just experienced. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. This goddamn devil. This guy and his bullshit still don't make sense. Calls. I love you. Like you can't give this girl some time with her fucking dad's grave? Jesus. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed. <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. But she's just a kid. I want you to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. I'm supposed to assume because this wasn't super clear in the end of the main game maybe I'm supposed to assume that that's like that is Ethan it kind of looks like the car stopped like if Miranda could present herself to me in the real world as like a hallucination then maybe Ethan can do the same maybe I can see him occasionally I don't know because of my connection with the Mega My Seat, me and My Seat, something My Seat. Interesting. So, hmm. This didn't really take the story in any particular direction. It, it just kind of 
Like, none of the plot really moved at all. Didn't really change anything. Miranda's still dead. Ethan's still dead. Rose still has powers. <clears throat> but... It was really interesting. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, my only complaint is how clunky the controls were. And in the main game, the controls weren't that clunky. And I'd be... I wouldn't really want to do a full playthrough of the main game in third person, but I'd be interested in seeing if it were just as clunky. Um... There is a little bit more to this DLC. It came out with some new, um, there's like side missions you can do. Um, which I now have to do to get my, my 100% back in this game. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think I'm going to do that for the channel. Unless you guys really, really want, but, eh. But anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another playthrough of this on hardcore to get the last uh that achievement and then i'm gonna have to do those things but yeah coo his first name was panda his name was panda chen i don't know what to do with that information <laughs> this is interesting it caught my eye um but yeah so that was Resident Evil Village, uh, Shadows of Rose, really good DLC, uh, in my opinion, actually worth the money. I don't remember how much it was, but uh, I don't, I don't mind having paid for it at very minimum. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty solid. All, all in all, I'm excited to see where they take the franchise from here. But yeah. We'll see if there's anything at the end of the credits, and if not, then uh, we'll sign off. Oh, okay. So that's going to be it. And I got two achievements. Did in under three hours. That took me longer. Well, obviously it's going to take me longer than my speed run of the main game. Um, but yeah, so now... And then, yeah, the other thing... I, the only other thing I got is the, the different outfit. Um, but yeah. So I am going to do another playthrough on Hardcore. Just to get it. Not for the channel. Just just to get that achievement. And do the, the, the mercenaries thing. For the achievements. But yeah. This is. Um, I have no idea if they're planning more DLC in the future. If they do. We'll play it. If they don't. It is what it is. I'll always be intrigued to see what comes down next in the Resident Evil pipeline. Really like the direction that they've taken since seven. Um I mean I do I do also appreciate the remakes, which we will probably play for the channel at some point. We'll also probably play seven for the channel at some point, just to wrap that up. But anyway. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like it. But I hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.